it's probably never been easier to create agents. And it's also probably never been easier to restrict what they can and cannot do, especially inside Xano. And I want to show you how. Now, this is an agent snippet that has been installed. So it's been pre-created. We'll copy this endpoint link here and put it in a new tab. And this is actually a front end being served from an endpoint. We're going to be able to interact with this. Now, who is interacting with this? That's our agent user. We're going to be signed in as our agent user. Their status is past due. They're going to be trying to schedule an appointment here with the app admin who is available. So with this in mind, can we go ahead and restrict certain tools if the agent user is past due? And can that reflect in our conversation history? One of the things that I've done here, so I've gone to my AI tab, I've gone to my agent and I've of course, opened up my agent. Notice the tools I have. But also, if we go to our settings and we go to triggers, we're actually going to be performing an account check. Now, this account check is going to restrict the tools that this agent has access to. In fact, it's going to specifically be restricting the create appointment. Our user is currently unpaid, so they won't be able to schedule an appointment. But when they're paid, then they'll be able to. And I want to show you that live. So let's go over here to this chatbot and I'm going to say, hi, I'd like to schedule an appointment. Now, of course, you'll have application context more so than what we have here for this light demonstration, but you have the ability to do things with these tools. And here I've instructed my agent to not let me proceed unless I have paid. It knows this. In fact, it doesn't have access to this tool. I'll even say, now, don't you have access to the um, we'll say appointment scheduler tool and we'll see what it says. It's going to say no, it's saying that I have to pay this bill. That's why I can't see it. So let's go ahead and pay this bill. My status is paid. Perfect. I'll head right back into the chat bot and I'll say, okay, it's been paid. Perfect. So I've restricted a tool from being able to be used based off of conditions and parameters that I've set within Xano. And you can see how I've done it with only a couple statements where we're going to be using the auth ID from our user on that chatbot side. It's going to be being passed back. We're going to check what their status is. And depending on what their status is, we're going to restrict tools. You can, of course, make this more robust. But as an example, now I have the ability to schedule an appointment. So I'd like to schedule an appointment and we'll say September. 27th, 2025 at uh, 4 p.m. MST. And then once it's been scheduled, we can go to our appointment table inside Xano to see, yep, this record has been scheduled. And this is just the beginning. So go ahead and get started by downloading that snippet below. And well, you'll have a chatbot pretty much out of the box. Can't wait to see what you build with it.